Welcome to Traveling While Black. Hey, what's up? I'm Anthony. This is my wife, Marley. And welcome to another episode of Traveling While Black. Yes, welcome back, everyone. As a brief reminder, our show is based on our experiences traveling. And we base those experiences off of how good of a drive it was, how much fun we had, and most importantly, how comfortable do we feel as black people visiting for the first time? Our recent effort of visiting Washington State places that we've yet to visit since moving here, we realized we've only visited east of the Cascades. Yes, so for this episode, we decided to head on over to our side of the Cascades and actually through the Olympic Mountain Range to the city of Port Angeles. Yep, and even though we've been recommended to visit Port Angeles a ton of times, we really didn't know much about it. So this episode was the perfect opportunity for us to learn more about the city by the sea. Yes, and so we're really excited to show you, you all Port Angeles and why you should visit as well. So as always, take a look at this episode and let us know what you think. Sometimes referred to as where the mountains meet the sea, Port Angeles sits on the northern coast of Washington, nestled between the Olympic Mountains and the Strait of Juan de Fuca. Obviously, the city's location lends to some unbelievably stunning views, and along with being near the Olympic National Park, the city is a big attraction to outdoor lovers. But for our visit, while we really love the outdoors and of course nature, we were really ready and interested in learning more about the city itself. And also, seeing what there was to do in the city once dubbed the second national city, there's one fact we learned on our visit. Ha! Drive grade. Okay, the drive to get to Port Angeles can vary. On average, it's usually around two and a half hours. But we decided to take the Edmonds Kingston Ferry route, which made our trip over three hours due to the day and time we left. We left at a really bad time, so its traffic was rough. But a positive from our route was that we could give some tips on how to get through the Edmonds Kingston Ferry. With it being our first time taking this ferry route, we realized that we could have used some tips on which lane to be in. Yep, stay in the right lane coming off the highway. We were contemplating on whether or not to continue in the left lane, but we chose to stay put. And good thing we did, because the line eventually moved up and took us to the pay booth. After paying the fee, which was $30.85, we moved up into another area to begin the next phase of line waiting, which wasn't too bad, because you can get out of your car there and stretch. There were even restrooms. We had missed the cutoff for the 615 ferry, so we had to wait for the 7 o'clock one. Eventually, it showed up on time, and we boarded. From there, the ferry was business as usual. After the ferry, the ride felt like it went by faster. It also offered better views. Even though the journey felt long, our experience really wasn't that bad. Maybe in part to the cup of wine I purchased on the ferry. <laughs> Plus, the ride back was only two and a half hours. So for this drive, we will give a four out of five for drive grade. Level of fun. Like most cities, Port Angeles offers plenty of options for places to eat, drink, and of course shop. Even though we enjoyed experiencing those places, we were really focused on learning everything about the city itself. So it made sense to start by learning the city's history. For us, there's no better way to learn the history than the Port Angeles Underground Heritage Tour, a tour that teaches the history of Port Angeles and best of all, enables guests to experience that history. The two hour tour starts at the Port Angeles Visitor Center, where we met up with our tour guide for the day, Steve. For the first part of the experience, Steve gave us a quick overview of the Port Angeles history we were about to experience. Next, we ventured out of the Port Angeles streets and began the tour. That took us everywhere from the underground tunnels that ran underneath the city to a former brothel of the town's early days. From the tour, we learned some interesting historical facts about the city, like how it was going to be a U.S. naval base to protect the country from a British invasion during the Civil War. That didn't happen. But having been platted as a federal town, it was the only other city outside of Washington, D.C. at the time, earning the name Second National City. One of the most interesting historical events of Port Angeles occurred in the 1900s, when the city embarked on the colossal effort to elevate the city's downtown streets. The result was a network of underground tunnels and storefronts, which is exactly what we got to check out on the tour. The tour was a lot of fun, and we definitely learned a lot about Port Angeles from our tour guide, Steve. Now, we had an understanding of history from the European perspective, but we wanted to get an understanding of Port Angeles history from a huge part of the overall area's history, the indigenous perspective. For that, we visited the El Kalalam Museum, a museum that was established and ran by the lower El Kalalam tribe. The museum tells the story of the tribe and other tribes on the Olympic Peninsula including the story of the ancient tribal village of Chowitsin, which was uncovered in 2003 by Washington State Department of Transportation during bridge construction. The village dates back to 750 BC, approximately the same time Rome was founded. 
Having been caught up on the history of Port Angeles, we felt more than ready to get out and experience the city as it is today. A real dope way we got to experience the city and more so its nature was an e-bike tour via Discover e-bikes, a locally owned and operated e-bike tour company. We went down on the Port Angeles waterfront to rent the bikes and meet the owner, Brandon, who took us to the starting point of a scoped out route along the Olympic Discovery Trail. This was amazing. Not only did we experience a nice ride and see the amazing landscape, but we also got to see some cute wildlife. Yeah, we did have a great time on the bike. There are multiple rental times you can choose from. We chose the three hour option. This experience illustrates probably the biggest thing we confirmed during our visit, that some of the best things to do in Port Angeles involves enjoying the beautiful outdoors. Yes, we especially loved experiencing the many different types of beaches, from the cute sandy beach outside of our hotel to the breathtaking rocky beach at the Salt Creek Recreation Area. I guess this is considered a beach. Yep, all in all, we can say that we had a great time during our visit, learning and experiencing the history, and most of taking in the peace and beauty of nature. We can definitely say Port Angeles is worth a visit, and you won't be disappointed. And if you do, definitely check out the Port Angeles Underground Heritage Tour, the El Wak Lalam Museum, and Discover E-Bikes. See links to the website in our description. For our experience, we give a 4 out of 5 for level of fun. Comfortability for black people. We didn't know what to expect going into Port Angeles for the first time, but for a place that connects people to the beauty of nature by the sea, we we're happy to say that we felt comfortable. Yep, comfortable all around. From the restaurants and shops we dropped into to all of the people that we met. On top of the welcome feeling, we also saw some other black people. Yes, yeah, not a whole lot, but I guess more than we thought we would see. Anyway, we loved it, and we can say that Port Angeles turned out to be a comfortable experience to go along with a good time. More of a reason for us to recommend you all checking it out for yourself. For our experience, we give a 4 out of 5 for comfortability for black people. We hope you found this episode to be helpful and entertaining. Be sure to check out our previous episodes. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on all of our social media platforms. Until next time, beautiful people. Stay up, stay true, and do you.